Hello guys and girls, my name is the Gaming Assassin. Um, right, so we are going to go back to No Man's Wharf and we are going to, wrong one. We are going to go to the bonfire and beat the boss there. Because what I did was last episode I unlocked a little shortcut. I got a ring which increased my equip load, which is called the Royal Soldier's Ring. I'm wearing the imported hoods, I'm wearing the baggered gauntlets which is the bandit stuff, and I'm wearing both Jang Lake top and bottom, if you can just see. And, uh, Luca Teal's gone. I'm actually going to use Luca Teal for this fight, so it'll be awesome. And this guy is pretty obvious there. I'm just going to try and speed run this area to conserve its stamina. Okay, holding tree gloves, cool. And as you noticed, I had enough points to put 16 perk points in dabbing this 100% block shield. So if he attacks me, no damage taken. No. No damage whatsoever. There you go, you're dead now. Whoop. You're dead, son. Oh, well, I do this. Speed running. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I'm not using my main weapon, the fire long sword, and I plus fived it. So, all's fair. And love and war. Probably not the right time to say that, but okay. I don't care. I'm still happy that I'm gonna go beat the boss with the help of Luca Teal. So, not that. Way. Let's go this way. Right, bro. Two hit. One hit. Maybe not. One hit. <laughs> right, Varangian sword. That's supposed to be pretty good. So I'm just gonna backstab. Go, you're dead. Alright, quickly, you gotta get faster, gotta get faster. Alright, there's this guy. There you go. Aha! Oh, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. Come on. Come at me, bro. Training blows, that's alright. Can to use some effigies now. I don't want to waste. Oh, that's the thing that's carrying away. Right, this is the Luke Teal summon. As you can see, you can summon her for th four boss fights. And if she survives three out of the four of them, which we're going to make her do. She is going to give us all of her stuff. Uh, this is the room where I found a Titanite Shard and a large Titanite Shard and fire bombs. So that was pretty good. And. I think. Yeah, in this room, this is where I broke a wall down to get a real ring. And quickly spring through the door. As you can see. Stabbing these guys like there's no tomorrow. I should not like guys can break that bars. No, or not. And backstab. And right, he's dead. And these uh, vases are full of poison, if you can see in there, green stuff. And you do that, you instantly get poisoned. Uh, I found the royal ring on this corpse and a couple of fading souls, nothing much, but still pretty good, I'm wearing that now. Uh, throwing knives back there, which was very convenient, seeing as I used a throwing knife to break the bars. And right now, I'm going to kill this guy, if we can get him. Come up, bro. 
Come at me. Come on, come into the sunlight, mate. There you go. And you're dead. Alright, come on, let's go. Mmm, good, we kill this guy. Come on, hurry up. There we go, that guy died. We're going to actually equip a bow. Yeah, might as well. If we go over 70%, not much big of a deal. But we can snipe these guys off. Into the abyss they go. Easy way of cheesing them. Actually, we get rid of bow then. Uh, we got a ring from Melancha for spending so many souls with her. And she gave us a uh, cover to silver separate ring plus one, which oddly enough gives us more souls. And if you can see that white thing above my little cowl, that is a guy's super white beard. And we have to have ten intelligence to talk to him. He's basically a sorcerer guy. So nothing big a deal. Alright, we're going to quickly get a backstab off of this guy. Alright, come on, let's do this. Come on, boys. Use a shard, or well, not a shard, a effigy. Run up here. Double hit that guy. And we're all good. Right. Just gonna use another effigy just to make it right. And that is where the flexile sentry is down there. But we are going to claim the loot that I missed is up there. Over Rangian shield, not bad. So we're gonna sell it to Gavlan when we next meet him. Alright, seven minutes, that's alright. Alright, we're just gonna go back and get Lucatil's summon sign because it's just easier to clear the way. We only used one uh, FG, I'm not about. Uh, what am I trying to think of? Estus, that's it. Mm, got stuck. I'm gonna go get Lucatil back. Yep, Lucatil the mirror, come with me, and he will go kill the Flexile Sentry. Now, if you get the Red Eye Ring, I think it's called, from the cat in Medulla, which you will go see her. And then it basically makes enemies target you more often than any allies. So basically, when you're in a boss fight, that means if it's not the Smelto Demon, which hasn't got a mind of its own, if it's not something, say, the Lost Sinner or the Flexile Sentry, they'll go after you more than your summon. So it's easier to do quest lines like Lucretio's quest line or the other guy's quest line. I can't think of his name right now. You following? Yes. Uh, she got stuck. How oh, brilliant! Luca, please come on. Ah, uh, please don't do this. Not now. Ah, oh, hallelujah! Now, come on. Get your half a little butt over here. Keep following me. Good look at you. Now you have to be very careful around these parts because she can and most likely will walk off if you stop. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I really want Luca Teal's armor because it looks awesome. Reminds me of something like the Three Musketeers. Alright, you made it safely. Now let's go kill a boss. It is this way. Whew. Should be quite easy. Never actually died on this boss, so that's a good thing. Alright. Right, let's do this. Okay, now the thing with this boss is that if you get in between it, it won't attack you. Well, the 
pie that's facing you will. Okay, just recover stamina. Let do damage. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I knew he was going to do that. Woo! Poke. Poke. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. Look up, please. Look up, please. Thank you. She won't die. There we go, flex our century is down. How many souls do we get? That's not bad. Bye, Luca. Right, there is a pyromancy flame up this way, so that'd be pretty good. Mm, where is it? It's back here. This will be what we'll use for a bit. Because, I hold on. I don't think we've got an attunement slot. So we won't be using that right now. But now, the second way to enter the Lost Bastille is going this way, which is through the boat. Of course, the other way it was going was the Lost Bastille. To the Lost Bastille was defeating the Pursuer and uh, examining the Crow's Nest. Right, off to bigger and better things we go. We're not actually going to do the Lost Bastille, which I know seems very strange to you people, but just trust me on this, and we don't belong in the Lost Bastille yet. We'll get to that later. The place we're actually supposed to be in next is the Huntsman's Cops or Corpse, or where, however you pronounce it, which is full of poisonous dead things, so that's always fun. But we're just going to get the bonfire here, and I'm going to upgrade my character. Wait, have I got any large satellite shards? I don't think I do. Right. Come on, come on, come on, look at my awesome tattoo. You might not be able to see it, but okay. Seriously, my, char my character looks awesome. He really does. Alright. Now there is a item that we passed, which is just a skimitar and a repair powder. But we will still be getting it anyway. So you come out, let it go back down, it gives us a few seconds, and drop back down. Right, it is a little bit laggy, so it will make us like do something like that, like it normally does. It will give us some time to get the loot. There we go. Skim and time repair powder, sweet. And now we're gonna go all the way back up, and we're gonna go find the uh, bonfire. That's what's called. Um, I'm just I forgot to get the ring of restoration. Oh no. Oh, I'll go get that one. And we'll get that one later. But for right now, we're going to search these cells because I know there's a bit of loot in here. I don't know which one it's in though. I think it's in this one. Yeah, there we go. Solar Proud Knight. Hell yeah. Mm, don't get stuck on a lever. Okay, there's nothing in these cells apart from this one and then another one where it's got a bonfire in it now common fruit i think that increases your poison resistance i'm not sure wait a minute what where's the bonfire oh there it is da -da -da -da. there we go travel to my jeweler 
We're gonna spin these souls and we'll get the ring of restoration, which I know I should have done before. Uh, that was stupid. I forgot to do it. That'll be very handy. And I think I'll use it instead of the. Hmm. I don't know. What rings have I got on right now? I use it instead of the Royal Soldier's ring or the Covered as Silver Serpent ring. I think I'll exchange that one instead. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But for right now, have I got a large Titanite shard? Uh, no. Right, so we can't do any upgrading. That's not fair. Right. Oh wait, do I want to level up? Or do I want to talk to the cat? I'll have a look. Uh, how much? How much is that? That takes me down to that, but I don't know how much the ring is. I'll do one level just so I'll have a look how much the ring is. I think it's like 150 something. So I'm just going to go have a look. It is well worth it because it goes up to the next boss area, which is pretty easy. Especially if we've got fire and lightning swords. Hello, little kitty cat. Oh. Who are you again? Don't play, you know me. <laughs> no, I'm not serious. Oh, you're your kitty cat. You do have a rather pleasant scent. Oh, look at the kitty cat. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, I already bought it. Alright, we'll buy this one and this one then for later on in the game. Satisfied? Yep. Hold your Okie dokie. Ooh, what's going on? Um, well, I'll just do that. That might be enough for a level, I'm not sure. And I'll upgrade my stamina. Uh, okay, and I'll make this video 25 minutes long this time, just to see how much I can actually do. Because I have verified this account, so I can do more, uh, I can do longer videos actually. So instead of it going from 6 to 10 to 15 to 20 to 25, I'm testing my limits to see how long these videos, or how long the videos I can do. So, the longer the video, the better it would be, I think, because it would be quicker and easier for me. But here comes another point. Would you rather have one long video, say, if I was allowed to, do a 50 minute video, just for like a wild guess, or would you like to 20 minute videos a day or something like that? Because I'm definitely going to do two videos. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm doing two videos a day right now. Just gonna poke. Poke. Wow, that was so bad damage. And that was really good English. Alright, this guy's gonna stand up. You die. And in here, using the Royal Sol the Royal Soldier Key? Just the Soldier Key that we got from the Lost Giant. We get the Ring of Restoration and I think a torch? I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, remembered. Let's have a look. I think we'll take the Silver Serpent Ring off and we will put on this one. Ring of Restoration gradually restores HP, which is pretty good. So if you can just look right now on my health bar, it is very slightly like giving my health back. It is actually going quite quick and I'm just paying attention to it. I never actually noticed that. I thought it was like one every couple of seconds, like one little point. But by that logic, it'd be ten points per two seconds. Which is still pretty good though. And where else was it? It was back at Medulla? I don't know. Did we talk to the um, Miracle Lady? I can't remember. Because if you talk to the Miracle Lady long enough, she will go back to 
Medjula, where we went to go to the High Tower of Flynn. Now, is she here? No, she's not. Brilliant. She would be standing, like, right there, right in the centre of the screen. But she's not actually there, which is brilliant. So, we're going to go to Medjula. Oh, but we need 2,000 souls. Uh, that's bad. See, I always forget to do this. I always end up spending my levels and I'm like, Oh no, I forgot. I need 2,000 souls to change the way. Um, you'll see what I mean by changing the way. Uh, put you on. Um, uh, this isn't good. Do I have anything else that I can use? I do have fossils, but I really don't want to use them. But... Okay. The Dragon Rider Soul I can use, I know that's fine because we can get another one, so it's not all bad. And 6,000 is really good because I think if we do this and we can get another level as well. That's not bad. Oh, hello there. Hello. This room is not as it seems. What? There are two, not one pathways leading out. But I only see one. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. She means that little white box to and the left. This, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Mm-hmm. Shall I provide you with one? Oh, yeah. All right. Hold on, what have you got? I'll get a chime later on. Uh, I'm going to make this guy a sort of a faith build as well. So I'm going to use a lightning spear. And if you couldn't tell, she was actually tricking you, saying that it runs on miracles when she had the key to that button all along. Which is kind of annoying. But still, oh well. New areas. Thank you. Let's go on the way. Rouge water. Now people might think I said rogue water, but it says rouge. So... We don't actually need this ring, do we? Uh, where is it? Here. Uh, I'm just going to use this sword. Actually, no, we'll use the fire long sword because it's not long for a bonfire. Mm. I'm close to having to end this episode. Right, I'll go to the bonfire and I think I'll end it. Right, this guy, he will sell you hexes and stuff, but you need a mixture of faith and intelligence to talk to him, so we're not even going to bother trying to talk to him. Oh, look, bonfire. Right, we'll save it here, and the Huntsman's Cops will be for the next episode. Right. Oh, just clearing my throat. Right, I would like to say, please like, favourite, and subscribe, share with your friends in any of the videos that have been displayed on my channel. And of course I might do some more videos with Kathan in the future. Probably a little bit more trials, maybe a bit of kill zone. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have a see. Oh, of course I will be doing the other Let's Plays. Normally Skyrim and Minecraft that I can think of right now. Assassin's Creed when that comes out, the next one, based in France, which would be awesome. I will do that. But for right now, I'd like to say, have an epic day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.